This video will cover installing a 4th generation Camaro brake booster on a 3rd gen F body. Start by removing the master cylinder nuts. Undo the vacuum line and wiggle the master cylinder out of the way, avoiding damaging any brake lines. Go underneath the dash and lower the steering column about half an inch. We will be removing the four lock nuts that hold the booster to the firewall. The first two nuts are easy to get to, the other two are far more difficult. Unfortunately, I was not able to get a good shot with my camera to show the last two. I used a quarter inch swivel ratchet with a deep socket to reach the last two nuts. Remove the retaining clip on the booster rod and then remove the rod. Wiggle the old brake booster out of the firewall. Clean off any dirt or rust on the firewall. To install the new booster, you will need four 8mm locking nuts and two 10mm locking nuts. Install the new booster into the firewall. Connect the booster rod and retaining clip. and then tighten the four new lock nuts. Reinstall the master cylinder and the new lock nuts. Remove the 4th gen booster check valve and then insert the 3rd gen check valve in its place. Reconnect the booster vacuum line. Retighten the steering column nuts. Adjust the brake light switch so that the lights turn on under normal braking. The switch can be moved in or out on the bracket. Make sure to check for any leaks or loose parts, and then test the brakes at slow speeds to ensure the system is safe to use. The 4th gen booster and master has very little pedal travel. It has a firm take up and feels like the brakes on a more modern car. It's a huge improvement over the 3rd gen mushy pedal. Please note that the 4th gen booster should only be used with the 4th generation master cylinder as well. Do not use the 3rd gen master on the 4th gen booster. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for updates on videos.